Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to check the reachability of targets created in the station by the robot. It is common for targets created by methods other than jogging to be unreachable. Let's explore this through an example. We have a station set up with a virtual controller running. A path has been created on this workpiece. Navigate to Paths and Targets and click on Path Process. Here you can see the move instructions. There are several ways to check for reachability. You can select each instruction and right-click and click on Check Reachability. This will verify reachability and display an icon in front of the instruction. For instance, our first instruction to move to the target home is reachable. However, if you check the reachability for the target approach, it will be indicated as not reachable. Alternatively, you can right-click on the path itself and select Check Reachability. This will assess the reachability of all targets used in the instructions. The cross icon in front of the targets indicates that they are not reachable by the robot. The reachability of a target is crucial as it ensures that the robot can perform the required task at that location without any obstructions or limitations in its range of motion. Some targets in the path may still be reachable. Right-click on the first instruction and select View Robot at Target. By selecting different instructions, you can determine if the target is reachable by the robot. The output window will display messages about targets that are not reachable. To make the targets reachable, you can either move the robot or move the workpiece closer. Let's move the workpiece a little closer to the robot. Click on part selection and then move and rotate. Observe how the workpiece moves while the path remains unchanged. Let's undo this action and let's attach the work object to the workpiece. In the Paths and Targets browser, right click on the work object workpiece and select Attach to the workpiece named Carfront. In the Update Position window, click the No button. This action makes the work object dependent on the workpiece, so moving the workpiece will also move the work object. Carefully freehand move the workpiece again and notice how the path and targets follow. Each time you release the mouse button, the reachability icons in front of the move instructions in the browser will be updated. Move the part until the entire path is reachable. In the Paths and Targets browser, right-click on the Path Process path and select Auto Configuration, select All Move Instructions. Robot Studio will attempt to move the robot through the path, and if successful, set the configuration for all targets. Auto Configuration helps confirm the configuration of targets automatically. It adjusts the robot's path to ensure smooth transitions between targets, taking into account joint limits and singularities. Let's simulate the robot. Click on the Synchronize to Rapid button. Right-click on our path and click to set path process as the simulation entry point. Finally, in the Simulation tab, click the Play button to see the robot in action. This concludes our tutorial on the reachability function in ABB Robot Studio. We hope you found it helpful. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.